I'm Francesca Wood and I'm sat here with the FWA's Managing Director, Tony Simpson. Tony, we've just finished the second day of filming for a pilot wrestling documentary. How do you feel it went? Uh, it's, it's going really well. Um, you know, the guys have, have come down and they filmed us with the full setup. Uh, we've managed to get some of our top characters and stars down. Um, a lot of effort's gone into it, um, both on our side and from the production company, which is a good sign. Um, we've just done our second day of filming today, which has been more of the office-based environment behind the FWA. Um, and I, I have high hopes that this here uh, is going to be the project that takes our wrestlers and puts them on the stage that they deserve to be in, uh, in the mainstream. Okay. And uh, it's been just over a year since the rebirth of the FWA. Uh, how do you think it's gone so far? Uh, year one's gone really well, I feel. Um, right at the very beginning, just before we opened up FWA uh, again, uh, a lot of my business associates, friends and family were like, are you sure you want to be you know, doing that? Are those plans even possible? Um, and I think now we're showing that, that that progress is being made to that final aim that we have. Um, our first show that we did, we sold, uh, our, it was our biggest attendance uh, at that point, obviously, uh, a paid attendance. Uh, but that was on the nostalgia of what the old FWA was, which is something that I was a huge fan of. Um, and now we've finally shown that we've, uh, we can build a fan base uh, based on what our new product is, which is what the mainstream public is really needs to bring them in. Um, and that's being shown by the fact that we've got uh, at Wolverhampton, Hope and Glory in August, we sold our biggest uh, sort of FWA, new FWA uh, as a product in itself, our biggest paid audience. So I've, I think we're doing pretty well. Okay. Now the new FWA has had a lot more media attention, which was one of your aims. Mm -hmm. Are you, you're pretty pleased with this, aren't you? Oh yeah, I mean, we've, um, we've had attention from everything from local newspapers, which, you know, wrestling does get, but when you start looking that we've had coverage in the Daily Star, uh, the Sun Online, uh, Power Slam magazine, which is something that is notoriously difficult for British wrestling products to get into. Um, we've done incredibly well on that front. What we're sort of judging it on is our YouTube subscribers, because that's a, I mean, the newspapers things are great, but maybe not always sustainable. Whereas what our YouTube product is, is people saying, I want to watch that every week. And what they're doing is they're coming back and they're subscribing and they're getting an email every Thursday when Frontline goes up on YouTube and it's, oh, I'm going to go watch Frontline. And they're watching it every week. And in fact, our, our hits on YouTube uh, on our Frontline videos are higher than what our uh, subscribers are. So there are other people that are picking it up through searching for it. Um, and we get some great statistics from YouTube that, uh, that show that fact. Uh, the other stuff we were working on... Uh, like we said, we've got this TV pilot that's in production at the moment, which is a great thing for us. Um, and also some of our guys have been working on TV, uh, such as Spud has been working on Snog, Marry and Avoid, which is something that, you know, it's not directly, um, you know, it's not directly following wrestling. But what it is doing is it's exposing us to that mainstream market because possibly the people that would watch Raw would not be the people that watch Snog, Marry and Avoid, but the people that are going to see Snog, Marry and Avoid and see Spud may think, oh, I may switch over and watch FWA on, on the YouTube channel. So I think our exposure that we've got has, has been great and, um, and there's more and more coming every, every month. And Tony, before the year is out, the FWA will have held um, two of their biggest shows in the 11 year history. Mm -hmm. How are those shaping up so far? Oh, definitely. These are uh, huge events. I mean, we. We had a meeting just before this, actually, and um, Alex uh, said, just think about it. In the next two events we've got coming up, we are going to be exposing the FWA to 80,000 people, which is huge. You know, I mean, that's that's better than some TV channels would get. So, you know, it's, it, it's a big task to try and get that um, to get that going. But we know from the last expo that we did that we fit in there really well. And I feel that we've shown that we can compete with the rest of the entertainment industry, which is computer games, which is TV, which is film, um, and we're doing really well with that. Uh, the next few events are shaping up really well. The card's coming together. I know a few things, obviously, behind the scenes. I'll get to, to know what's sort of coming up. Um, and some of the announcements that we've got in the, in the coming weeks on Frontline are, gonna, uh, are really going to get uh, wrestling fans interested in those events. Um, but, yeah, shaping together really well, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, well, thank you, Tony. Um, 
informative. Uh, I, th I feel like I know a little bit more now. Uh -huh. I've been Francesca Wood, reporting for Frontline. If you'd like to purchase any of the DVDs featured in this show, go to www.fwauk.com.